Pretty recently, Six Flags Magic Mountain announced that they'll be opening their 20th roller coaster. Sure, they have already announced this before, but we all know what happened there. So now, they'll be building their 20th coaster for real. In summer of 2022, Six Flags Magic Mountain will be opening Wonder Woman Flight of Courage, an RMC Raptor, standing 131 feet tall and featuring 3,300 feet of track. If those stats maybe sound familiar, then that's because this is a near clone of Jersey Devil Coaster at Six Flags Great Adventure. The difference is being an additional 300 feet of track and an extra foot in height. The extra 300 feet of track comes from the turn before the lift hill and the additional turn and longer brake run at the end of the ride. To be honest, I really don't see the point in Six Flags slapping another foot onto a coaster that they already have, copying and pasting it across the country, and calling it a record breaker. Sure, it does make for good marketing, but with a single rail coaster like this, all that Six Flags should have to do is advertise it for what it is, and the GP will be shitting their pants in no time. The enthusiasts, on the other hand, won't be. It seems to be a pretty common opinion that Jersey Devil kind of sucks. That's not to say that it's a bad ride, but it's often criticized for its constant breakdowns and egregious pacing. Like, look at this. This is not good. But yeah, Jersey Devil Coaster has really been a nightmare for Six Flags over the past year, with construction being delayed, its constant breakdowns, the issue with the mid-course, and also the other issue with the wheels that was also present on Stunt Pilot at Silverwood, another second generation RMC Raptor that opened the same time as Jersey Devil. So after seeing all the issues come up with Jersey Devil, you'd probably assume that Six Flags would look at that and say, hey, maybe we don't want to duplicate that. Well, this is probably true, but I've also heard a lot of people saying that Wonder Woman is really the original layout, and Jersey Devil is the clone. The reason Jersey Devil opened first has something to do with West Coast Racers, I don't really remember, but MNL2 Contriver has an entire video on this theory, so I'll link that in the description if you want to go watch it. Then come back here. So yeah, adding Wonder Woman could either turn out really good or really bad for Six Flags Magic Mountain, we just don't know yet. Seeing some of the issues with Jersey Devil, hopefully RMC can change what they need to with the wheels or mid-course, just like they did with Jersey Devil, but this time, they can do it before the coaster opens. Something I'm really not happy with is how they're putting Wonder Woman at Magic Mountain and not somewhere else. It really annoys me that Six Flags will continue to put money into Magic Mountain, Great America, Great Adventure, and Discovery Kingdom, while there are so many more parks that would benefit from a Raptor way more than Magic Mountain. Looking at Magic Mountain's lineup, they really don't have any gaps. They don't need anything more than what they already have. Meanwhile, you have parks like Frontier City, Six Flags St. Louis, Darien Lake, and Six Flags Mexico, which haven't gotten a decent coaster in years. This especially disappoints me since recently my hopes for Six Flags have been very high. In the past year, I've had a lot of faith in Six Flags as a company. With Michael Spanos as their new CEO, I was hopeful that he would take a few steps in the right direction with Six Flags. He has proven himself too by buying a B&M and deciding not to add something to every park every year. He's also said that he plans on making bigger, less frequent investments rather than making a bunch of small investments every year. With these new standards now in place, I figured that Six Flags would also decide to invest equally in all of their parks rather than just focusing on the big ones. Well, I guess I wasn't entirely right. I should probably cut Six Flags some slack though since Wonder Woman was most likely purchased before Michael Spanos became CEO, and it also is really clear to me that Six Flags Magic Mountain is very much desperate to have 20 roller coasters, so they want their 20th to be something big and not like a kiddie coaster, not that they need another one of those. So is Wonder Woman a good fit for Magic Mountain? Well the short answer to that is yes. Having the most coasters of any park in the world, Six Flags Magic Mountain obviously does not have a gap in their coaster lineup that they need to fill. There's not a single coaster that they really need, so anything they add is just fine. Should they have gotten this coaster? Honestly, no. Sure, it's a good ride, but does Magic Mountain really need another coaster? Be honest, they don't. No park should ever need 20 roller coasters, and I think that it's really just a poor investment putting this here and not somewhere else, since Six Flags Magic Mountain already has such a high attendance, and they won't really experience any major benefits from this coaster. Parks add new roller coasters for a lot of reasons. It could be to increase attendance, they could be replacing something that they just removed, or they just need to make some money. Magic Mountain has none of these problems. They already have one of the highest attendance numbers in the entire chain, and they make an absolute shit ton of money. I guess they do need something to replace Green Lantern and Tidal Wave, but honestly, I would rather have them replace it with something that they really need, rather than something that they already have 19 of. 
Magic Mountain could work on a lot of things like adding more flat rides, better food locations, and overall park improvements. I don't want you to think that I'm against this new coaster because it's sure to be a good ride, but also I think that there are so many better options for this park, and there's so many other parks that would benefit more from this coaster than Magic Mountain. So those are my thoughts on Wonder Woman Flight of Courage coming to Six Flags Magic Mountain in 2022. Make sure to let me know what you think of this coaster in the comments below, and if you haven't already, make sure to like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel, since that would be amazing and greatly appreciated. Anyways, this is 07 Coasters, signing off.